it's Felicia, and today I'm going to be showing you guys some horrendous mistakes I made for my Thanksgiving meals this year. So I'm starting out with the macaroni and cheese. So as you can see here, I messed up. I used condensed milk instead of evaporated milk and made an incredibly overly sweet mac and cheese. But my ingredients today are elbow noodles, condensed milk, an onion, some garlic, some gouda, some mild cheddar, some sharp cheddar, and some white cheddar. So we got a whole bunch of different cheeses going on here. For seasonings, I used some Himalayan pink salt. Tried to make it fancy, didn't help. I used some Mrs. Dash. I have a peppercorn medley grinder blend situation. I got that from Whole Foods. Um, I haven't seen those anywhere else, but I'm sure you probably could find them anywhere at any supermarket and some Italian seasoning specific with oregano from the Mediterranean also got it from Whole Foods but I guess you could just use any plain Italian seasoning here I am just adding my water to the pot in total I'm using 10 cups to go with one pound of elbow noodles so just a full box As you can tell, my kitchen setup is different from the last cooking video that I posted since I did recently move. So this is a gas stove. So I have a flame underneath this instead of the coils um, heating up. So I just added some of the Himalayan pink salt to the water just to help with flavor and in my brain it helps it boil faster. Don't know if that's scientifically true or not, but it's always something that I do. So I just turned on my stove and put my flame on high. So I gave that a few minutes to let it boil. So here I am just adding in my elbow noodles, my entire box, which is one pound of elbow noodles and give it a quick stir just so the noodles don't immediately stick to each other. And I just let this boil away for eight minutes. You drain out the noodles in the water in a strainer in the sink. In the meantime here, I'm going to start to get my cheese sauce ready. I'm not going to say a roux because it doesn't have flour in it. But here I am just cutting up a quarter of that white onion. I'm not a big fan of onions, but in my head it just sounded like something that this needed, which is my first time ever adding it. So you could see how this whole, this whole thing went. So I cut up just a quarter of the onion, so I originally cut it in half, and then cut that half in half, and just diced it up into little small pieces, I'd say about a square centimeter maybe, I'm not really good with measurements, but just a little diced square, and just add that into the pot. Now I did not clean this pot in between the time of the noodles being in it versus me adding all these ingredients. Here is where everything went wrong. Condensed milk. I accidentally told my boyfriend to get condensed milk instead of evaporated milk. That's on me. 
Um, but the second I opened it and poured it out, I knew that something was wrong. And because it was already Thanksgiving, I uh, didn't have the energy to go to the store and get the correct one, even if stores were open. I figured I would maybe be able to try to save it, but no. If anyone knows anything, condensed milk is incredibly, incredibly sweet. It's basic, it's literally just sugar and milk. It's crazy sweet. It's what you use to make caramel. It's not the right ingredient for mac and cheese. But I tried to roll with it. I tried to fix it. And it just, it kind of went downhill. If you're someone who's got a bit of a sweet tooth, maybe this recipe might be for you. But it just wasn't for me. And the whole thing got thrown off. This is my tragic mistake for my mac and cheese on 2020's Thanksgiving. I swear this year could ruin literally anything. So my attempt to fix it, well, I planned on using all these cheeses in general anyway. So the correct way to do this is follow all of these steps and replace condensed milk with evaporated milk and this should be fantastic. I kind of haven't had the energy to redo it just because it just made me so sad the first time with how sweet it was. Though I did try to truly redeem it. So I just added in one cup of sharp cheddar and two cups of mild cheddar. I'm not a big fan of sharp cheddar so that's why I use less of that. And then here I just cut up five sticks of the white cheddar. Now we looked for shredded white cheddar, but the best we could find was the sticks. So I grabbed five sticks, the package comes with 10. I grabbed five sticks out of there, which the whole package equals like seven ounces. So half of that would be 3.5. If you're good with measuring stuff like that, 3.5 ounces is what you want of your white cheddar. Here I did the same thing with the Gouda. Um, this I just already had, but I'm sure this comes in a shredded version as well. I used five slices of the ten slices in the package, which again equaled three and a half ounces of the Gouda. So I have four cheeses. I have mild cheddar, sharp cheddar, Gouda, and white cheddar. And I'm just mixing that up on a medium heat with the condensed milk, which again, should be evaporated, and the onion. So you just mix that up to try and redeem this, which also I think might be a good idea in general. I added in a cup of milk. That's just because it was very thick, which I know is caused by the condensed milk and the sugar um, saturation of it. But I don't think that it would hurt if it was evaporated milk as well. I just needed it to loosen up a little bit. You can kind of go the correct route and see if it needs it or not. But I just added in a cup of whole milk. I don't use any other milk besides whole milk. It just doesn't taste right to me. It doesn't have the right consistency. It doesn't have the right consistency. I also use lactate because I guess technically I am lactose intolerant, even though, you know, I'm having all this cheese. But it's okay. You know, you pick your battles. So I just gave this a good stir until it was all melted together, had the right consistency of like a nice goo that wasn't too wet but wasn't too like extremely sticky just mixing it around on that medium heat for just a couple of minutes Now, I did taste this off camera to see what seasonings it would need for redemption. Again, it's extremely, extremely sweet because of the condensed milk. So I tried to combat that with salt. So here you'll see me add, in total, one and a half tablespoons of salt. That's a lot of salt, I know. But if you guys know what this tastes like to begin with, you will understand why I put so much 
So I think that if it was the evaporated milk, you would not need anywhere near this much salt. Please flavor the taste at that point. Um, but this was just me trying to combat the mistake that I made. I think that if I had the evaporated milk like I was supposed to, I'd probably only do half a tablespoon of salt because, again, I still like things very salty. That's just, I just love salty foods, so that wouldn't have been an issue, but I definitely don't think I would have needed anywhere near as much as I put in because it wouldn't have the sweetness. So same thing with the Mrs. Dash. I put in half a tablespoon, and then I just grinded up a lot of pepper, just trying to combat that sugar, and then I also added the Italian seasoning, and I did a half tablespoon of that as well. So in a regular mix, I don't think that you need this much seasoning because you're not trying to hide or mask another flavor. So I'd say I'd probably use half of what I put in this in a correct batch. So here I use half tablespoon of the Mrs. Dash of the of the Italian seasoning and a lot of pepper, I wouldn't put that much. I'd probably do half of that. Though, I will say, if when eating this, you dig past all the sugar, because you can mentally put yourself in that place, you dig past that. The seasoning on this was fantastic, actually. It's just that that sugar, just no matter where you got to, just was in your face. But if you just had these seasonings on their own, it, this was fantastic. So again, I'm still just mixing it, this up here to get it to that nice creamy consistency. Mixing it all up, making sure that the seasoning is evenly dispersed, making sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the pan, not burning. This is why I also recommend a good non-stick set a pan, a pot, or anything like that. So here I am just adding the noodles to the sauce in the pot. Normally I would have put the noodles straight into the pan and then poured the sauce on top of it and mixed it up in there, but I didn't think that I had that much room to be doing all of that in that pan because it's pretty shallow for the amount of noodles and everything here. So I just put it back in here, figured I'd give it a good stir where it wouldn't fall out or get all over the place. Stir it up, make sure each piece is nice and evenly coated. This is a great consistency, which I hopefully believe that the evaporated milk would give you a very very similar consistency though I cannot guarantee that since that's not what happened this time but this is the consistency you're going for not too thick not too wet just that nice creamy like you know when you put this in the oven it's gonna be perfect so I mix this up make sure everything's nice and evenly coated and then I poured that into my pan here that I lined with aluminum foil. If you have like a casserole dish or something like that, that's fine. You can put it in that. I know glass cooks different than like a metal pan. I use this one with aluminum foil because there's stains on the bottom of it that just will not come off. And I didn't want that in the mac and cheese. So again, I tasted it just a little bit just to see how that seasonings and the cheese really transformed things, and it was still very sweet. So I put in a tablespoon of garlic, which again, I would not you normally use this much to try and combat it. So I put in a tablespoon of garlic, and then this is just me adding that second half tablespoon as again I said I used one and a half tablespoons in total the first time I put salt in I only did a tablespoon this is me adding that other half and I mixed it up and at this point it was decent enough for me to say okay stop putting random things in it put it in the pan so
I will say this looks absolutely gorgeous looking at it. I'd be like, oh my god, I want that so bad. But just, again, if you don't like sweetness, do not put condensed milk because it's a lie. It looks so beautiful on video. I know. Like, it makes me upset looking at it because I'm like, oh, that looks like it should taste fantastic. Just, uh, it's just so aggressive. But here I just flattened out the noodles so that it cooked evenly. There wasn't any one spot that was thicker than others. To make sure that it all cooked nice and evenly. And it just fit in this pan. I don't know the size of this pan, but go off of what you have at home. Or if you got multiple little pans, you know, you know what you got at home. Here, just sprinkled some more Italian seasoning on top. On I know it doesn't really show up on camera, but I did put quite a bit on here to try and just, in the last minute, save your ism. That's, that's what I tried to do. So I put quite a bit of Italian seasoning on it. I actually really like this Italian seasoning. This is my first time trying it, opening it. I got it from Whole Foods again. It's actually pretty decent in comparison to just non-brand, like store brand Italian seasonings that I had. And then I also, last minute, thought to add some breadcrumbs. I originally, when I first started this adventure, was going to take croutons and crush them up and put it on top. I guess they're essentially the same thing, but um, because this had already gone downhill, I didn't want to take any other risks at all. So I was just like, I'm going to put normal breadcrumbs like I always do. And just put a very light dusting on the top of the macaroni. Just a very, very light dusting of that breadcrumb. And I put this in the oven. It was The oven was on 375. I put that in for about 30 minutes just until it's got a brown browning on the top. Um, and so stay tuned for my candy yams video and my deviled eggs video. Two things, again, that I've made multiple times perfect every time but not today all right guys i will see you in the next video